Hello again and welcome to the video on how to use the BCG matrix template which is available for download in the link below. Uh, when you open it, it'll look like this. There's two tabs, one without market shares. So when we don't know market shares, we can put some sort of scaling system in and create something that looks like that and doesn't have any sort of specific measures in it. And the other tab is probably more appropriate in most cases is where we actually have market share information and it will actually show the numbers uh, and, and relative market shares on the chart. So basically when you when you bring it up you just follow the steps so you call this whatever you like. I'm just going to add those test for me and it automatically up, uploads into the chart. You can just center that back if you needed to, depending on the size of your heading. And then you just enter the brands, portfolios, businesses here. I've put some samples in already, but I'll just show you one more. So I'm just going to put, make up a, a brand name. So it's 5% and the market leader is 25%. So it, it creates the relative market share for us, which is important in the chart. Uh, you don't have to touch that and that's actually protected. And then I'm going to put in a market growth rate. <clears throat> and then finally, over here, you can keep all this the same, but if you want the circles uh, to be different, you put some sort of estimate of, of revenue in there. So I've added uh, the F here and it's come over here as a as a question mark. So we'll have a look at that while well, that's the case. So it's a low market share against a high player. So its relative market share is quite low, but it's a, a fairly attractive growth market. So as a result, it sort of sits in, in this area here. Now under here, there are two versions of the matrix. First one's in color. And if you scroll down, you'll find the identical matrix um, in, in, uh, in black and white. Okay, I've just clicked over to the other tab, and this is when we might be doing something for an assignment or as an example, and we don't actually have precise market shares. So we just use a scaling approach, a one to nine scale, nine being the, the biggest, one being the lowest, and this applies for share, uh, growth rate, and size of the circle. So again, I'm going to add F. I've already constructed a, a matrix down here. So again, I'll just build in so it's a, a, a smallish market share, a, a, a quite a good growth rate. And I'm just going to make that circle a bit bigger. And we come down and you can see that's again a, a question mark because share is a bit low, an attractive market. And I've made the circle larger, so it should be the, the largest circle here. If I want to even make that bigger, I could bring these, these down and make that even larger up to nine and you can see that the, the other circles have got smaller so it's all on a relative basis so again there are two charts here one is the the color version and if you go down you've got a version in black and white now to copy them you just click on the edge right click on the outside and then you copy i'm just going to paste it in this document uh, you paste it in word or or, or uh, powerpoint i'm guessing and we paste it as a picture and then that's going to allow me to resize that into my document and keep the formatting so hopefully you'll find this helpful and the link is in below on how you can access it plus there's links to the the uh, site here as well